Namaste everyone. My name is Pranam Lashkari. I am a computer engineer from India, currently working with Collabora. I have been an uh, active contributor in LibreOffice and TDS since uh, 2019, and uh, I hope to continue it for many more years. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, some of the very recent developments uh, about uh, some of the UI UX uh, improvements. Uh, UI UX is not something I usually get my hands dirty with, but well, I'm too young to not try something new. So it is about uh, conditional formatting dialog. So let's see what I have done there. So first of all, why we needed this improvement. So as an example, let's, let's take this uh, very sh simple sheet where I have a number from 1 to 40, and I have three different conditions set on the same range. Uh, let's say if the number is uh, below 10, above 30, or uh, somewhere in between. So let's say you want to set a condition uh, for this uh, formatting. Uh, you go to Format Condition and then Manage Condition, and you'll get this kind of dialog. As, as I have mentioned, I have set uh, three conditions for that same range from A1 to A40. But in this dialog, in the Manage Condition Format dialog, you only see very first condition. So if you are in hurry, you might think that, oh, I, I might have just uh, forgotten to set uh, uh, the conditions and uh, let's, let, 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 let's try to edit again. So you'll be brought to this uh, dialog. As you can see here, uh, there is just no information about other two uh, conditions. You will continue to add a redundant condition here which is quite confusing. But in the, this exact same scenario, instead of uh, clicking on this Add button here, if you had clicked on the Edit button, you would be brought to this dialog, exact same dialog, as you can see from the previous dialog, exact same dialog. But the information here is completely different. It shows you all the previous condition on the same range. As you can see here, uh, it's uh, Exactly same dialogue, same range, but information is different. In addition, uh, if, if you by mistake click on this any of this condition, let's say condition two or condition three, they immediately get into edit mode. So there are high chances that user might just accidentally edit those conditions. And uh, to me, this particular inconsistency between this exact same dialogue with different information was quite confusing and annoying to be honest. So what's the solution then? So first first part, first thing first, I wanted to show all the information in a non-overwhelming way possible to the user. So uh, in this manage dialog, I tried to show all the information uh, with all the conditions there were. If you remember previously, you could see only one condition there, even though Precondition existed on this particularly same range, just one condition was displayed. But here you can see all the conditions. In addition, you can also uh, directly add new conditions here. If you select uh, in this uh, value, cell value here, you can select the condition type, and uh, you can also select condition here in the screenshot. It is selected is less than or equal to, and you can click on the add button. And Similarly, you can also uh, add a new condition on the formula. You can just add formula there, or you can also select date. So basically, you can do whatever you could do with the previous overwhelming dialogue with uh, inconsistent information here too, but in a more simple way. If you click on the Add button, you'll be brought to a dialogue like this, where you can just put whatever condition you need just in case if you also need to change range, you can also do that. And obviously, you'll also get to see the preview of the style you have selected. And apart from that, if uh, instead of clicking on the Add button, if you had clicked on first clicked on the condition there, and uh, if you had clicked on the Edit button, then again, you'll be brought to this exact same dialog. With, uh, but the only difference here will be uh, this dialog will be pre-filled with all the uh, information from the previous condition. Uh, by previous, I mean the 
condition which you are trying to edit here. So you can see what you are editing or what changes you need to make. And uh, so this brings a kind of consistent experience for the user. Uh, doesn't matter if you're adding or editing or anything. You have exact same information, all the information you need in one place. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's it from my side. So hopefully see you in some other conference again. Bye-bye.